Hi, my name is Taryn Wood. I'm a fourth grade teacher in Gwinnett County, and I am getting my master's in instructional technology. So this is my professional portfolio that I have created using the eight standards. Let's look at standard one. So standard one is learner. Educators continually improve their practice by learning from and with others and exploring proven and promising practices that leverage technology to improve student learning. As educators, our number one concern is always student learning. So my first artifact here is my field experience blog. And I chose this because it was everything that I did throughout this practicum in order for me to continue to learn how to people in our technology field are helping us teach students. Next one is my social media site with Twitter. This was a new experience for me, but it was awesome seeing new things that were being shared and also finding things to share to improve student learning through technology. My third artifact is my article critiques that went with technology and looking at each one and seeing what was good about them, what was bad, not bad, but what could be improved. And it was interesting to see the different scenarios that were shared with each one and the outcomes of each. All right, standard two is leader. Educators seek opportunities for leadership to support student empowerment and success and to improve teaching and learning. My favorite word in that whole standard is empowerment. My first artifact here is my web repository where we had to find different part, different items that supported different parts of technology. This was a great experience to be able to see what new technology items were out there that could be utilized in a classroom for different things. All right. And then a technology advocate presentation here is Book Creator, which is what I also did something else on Book Creator that you will see in a minute. Being an advocate for technology is something that I was new to but was awesome to promote as well. And I've used that in my own school as well. My third artifact here is my technology plan evaluation, looking at how different school districts um, use technology and how it improves student learning and what their plan is to improve student learning. And this was interesting because this is a neighboring county and it was interesting to see how different it was compared to where I actually am. Standard three is citizen. Educators inspire students to positively contribute and responsibly participate in the digital world. So my first artifact here are my learning modules, having this whole course over seven modules that went over fourth grade standards regarding theme and summarizing literature. This was one of my favorite things that I did where I got to create a whole course based on just theme and reading and a place for students to learn, but also be that digitally responsible citizen and be that participant. My next one is my Digital Citizen Collaborative Unit over cyberbullying. This was another one completely created from scratch and being able to see how students come together to participate in the cyber world and how they are actually learning through what we have created as educators. Center four is collaborator, a word we hear a lot in education. Educators dedicate time to collaborate with both colleagues and students to improve practice, discover and share resources and ideas and solve problems as indicated by the following. Um, this one was interesting to say that we also collaborate with students, which is not something that I think is done enough. My first artifact here is a mini lesson curation, which was based on fluency and inquiry. 
I come from a IB background. So inquiry is something that I'm very um, passionate about. Coming up with this whole curation of different mini lessons was um, interesting to see how we could make history specifically inquiry-based and also technology-based without students just simply going to Google. And then again, my collaborative unit on digital citizenship, digital citizenship, where I had to collaborate with a colleague in order to come up with an idea of what her students needed, and then collaborating with students throughout the entire unit on what they are learning, what needs improvement on, and what their whole ideas are about this specific topic. Standard five is designer. Educators design authentic learner-driven activities and environments that recognize and accommodate learner variability environments. So all about that environment and designing those great environments. My first artifact is a book trailer and my first assignment that was ever done in this whole experience, which is on a book called Hatchet. So selecting those materials and then presenting them to others um, with this whole storyline. <laughs> and then my next one is my professional development workshop, where I went and did a whole workshop on Book Creator again, and really talking about how we can best implement this in our classrooms to have a technological outlet for students to showcase their learning in all different disciplines. And then my third artifact is, again, that production tool cur curation, where we have our different um, technology pieces that are part of different parts of technology, from virtual design to audio production, video production, and presentations tools. And there are so many more than what are just listed here. So all those design pieces. Standard six is our facilitator. Educators facilitate, facilitate learning with technology to support student achievement of the ISTE standards for students. So my first one here, my first artifact is that digital citizen collaborative unit, because even though this was a working piece with students, it was something that I facilitated as an instructor in order for students to learn. Again, with that staff development workshop on Book Creator, that was something that, again, was facilitated by me, but then later had that gradual release option. And then the online learning modules. Now, even though this could have been easily went through with students doing it by themselves uh, as facilitators, as educators, we initiate that facilitation because we have to create these different modules or classrooms or different parts of our LMS systems in order for students to access. Standard seven is our analyst. Educators understand and use data to drive their instruction and support students in achieving their learning goals. So that word data that we all love. My first here is an infographic that I created um, on DLI or dual language immersion, which is something that we do have in Gwinnett County Schools. Um, now, even though dual language immersion is not technology-based, the point here was creating this infographic. This was the first one I ever created. Um, and it was honestly one of the biggest daunting tasks I've ever had to take because it was the first thing I ever done. Um, it was very <laughs> challenging. I used PictoChart to do it. I have since uh, discovered Canva. Um, and have created multiple infographics, both for my school, myself, um, different organizations outside of school. And then the next one is my instructional design unit, which again was targeted towards fourth grade students um, with the American Revolution, but creating those different things for students to go through and then analyze that data in order to determine next steps. And then my technology plan evaluation is my next artifact, um, using data to go with our next steps. With the technology plan, I would hope that that is a fluid document 
that can be changed where teachers, educators, and those higher than the people in the schools can come together, use the data to drive what they are going to do next. And then our last standard is standard H, which is a coach. Educators plan, provide, and evaluate the impact of professional learning for educators and leaders to advance teaching and learning with technology. When I first heard, heard coach, I was like, what? I thought of sports. But coach is so much more than that. The first artifact I have here is my instructional screencast on Whiteboard FI where it was essentially my first professional development, teaching others about this um, platform and how we can use it in our classrooms and how beneficial it is, something like what an instructional coach would do in the schools. So that's how I link that with this coaching here. Um, and then my next one is my grant proposal project. Um, my first needs assessment that was also completed here where I had to determine what was best needed and how to best, what the best next steps were going to be in order to get that item. In this case, it was Google Classroom in our schools and provide training. And then my next artifact is again, my professional development workshop on Book Creator, being that coach and teaching other educators on what, book creator is, and again, had to best implement it in schools at all levels in all subject areas. And then here I also put social media. Um, everybody goes to social media for help for coaching. In this case, it was uh, technology.